Hi, I'm Rachel Tomlinson, and I'm the author of A Blue Kind of Day, which I'll be reading to you today. A Blue Kind of Day. Cohen was having a blue kind of day. It was a slumping, sighing, sobbing kind of day. Gloomy feelings filled up Cohen's entire body and he was sure that everybody could see blue radiating from his skin. The feelings were such a deep, murky kind of blue that they made Cohen feel trapped. His body felt prickly, tense and wound up like a coil. He dragged himself back to bed and scrunched into a tight, angry ball. Cohen was never going to get out of bed ever again. Mum sat down gently next to Cohen. Just pull the covers back and get out of bed. It can't be that bad. She patted Cohen's shoulder. Cohen snuggled deeper into his blankets. Feeling blue made his body so heavy that he just couldn't get out of bed. Dad peered into Cohen's bedroom and smiled. Let's go outside and toss the football around. I always feel better when I get some fresh air. But Cohen didn't want anyone to see his muddled up blue feelings. So he pulled the blankets tight around himself like armor. His little sister Junie pounced on him. You don't look sick, what's wrong with you? She demanded. Cohen felt like a lost kite, loose in the breeze with feelings that tangled like string. He couldn't find the words to describe why everything felt so wrong. So instead, he tucked safely into himself like a turtle. Mum told her funniest joke. Dad pulled a silly face and Junie grabbed Colin's favourite teddy bear to show him. Colin rolled away from them to face the wall. He just did not feel like laughing or smiling today. His family looked at one another with concern, but they weren't ready to give up just yet. One by one, they snuggled closer to Cohen and waited. They waited because feelings cannot be rushed. They waited because it was okay that Cohen felt blue. They waited because they knew that Cohen's blue feelings would not last forever. They waited until Cohen was ready. Cohen lay still for a very long time. He noticed how warm it felt to snuggle with his family. As the warmth spread through his body, Cohen found that his blue feelings weren't quite so deep and murky anymore. Tell me a story, Cohen whispered. As his mother read, her soft, calm voice settled over him and Cohen felt his body uncoiling and unclenching. His tiptoeing fingers crept out from under the blanket to grasp his dad's hand and the confused feelings started to untangle. Peep. Russell, tumble. 
Cohen slowly emerged from his blanket cocoon and smiled at his family. And then he wondered what tomorrow might bring. Thanks for listening.